Hi, Jeannie here, and today I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in freebie in Canva. Now, if you already have one freebie, and that is a free gift that you can use to build your email list, you might want to create more than one. And the reason why you'll want to do that is because if you have a launch funnel, meaning you have a sequence of things that people can do before they learn about courses that you offer, you may want to have more than one freebie to entice people to learn more about what you do. So here is an example of a freebie that I really like. This is done by Christina Hills and she teaches websites to non-techies. I'm on her team and know her very well. So I use this as inspiration. So you can do this as well. Other freebies that you opt in, you can study how their pages are and see what elements you'd like to incorporate into your own freebies. So I'm going to start first with the freebie design. So this is the opt-in page. So you've got a nice image right here, a big headline and a call to action. If you scroll down, we have a nice headshot of Christina. We have three bullet point benefits and then another call to action at the bottom just in case they scroll down and didn't grab it at the top. Now these, if you click on them, have boxes that pop up. So this comes from your email marketing system. It's not necessarily designed by Divi or whatever you're using to create the opt-in page. So I'm going to opt-in and let's put in my email address. Yes, send me the info. We're going to go to download now and here is the thank you page. Now this is important because if you take people right to the freebie, which you can if you're in a hurry, then you don't really have the opportunity to lead them to the next step. So this thank you page can be used to give them a little bit more instruction. So there's a video here that's optional. You can link directly to the download. Some people have you double opt-in, so confirm one more time in your email that you want to be on the list, but that tends to lower the amount of people who actually click on that list, that link to get on your list. So if you're in a country that allows the double opt-in to be turned off, you can turn it off. So you'll have to study the GDPR rules in your country or consult a legal professional. So I'm not an attorney, I can't give advice on that. But this is a roadmap. So a lot of times you want to have a freebie that people can easily implement with a complete solution. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages in this freebie. So it's pretty detailed. Here you've got a roadmap here and this is something that you could create with technology. And so if you wanted a freebie like this that has a design element, then you'll want to create these graphics too. You can go to Fiverr to do them or 99designs, which tends to do logos too. But I like to do my graphics in Canva because they tend to be easy. So I want to go back. Let's just go back if we can. So the first thing I want to create for my freebie is this graphic right here. So let's go here and I'm going to search for templates. So let's just go to magazine. So magazine cover. I like magazines because or searching for magazines in Canva because they have really big headlines and they tend to stand out pretty nicely. And then I like to use the interior of the magazine layout to create and format the freebie itself. 
So I usually just like to find a free one. All of these with the crown or the dollar sign means you need to up upgrade if you want to use it one time. Let's see. Let's look at this cover. I'm just scrolling through. I'm going to take a look back at here. It's nice to have a person sometimes on your landing page or opt-in page because people can visualize themselves as part of that process. So magazine covers typically do have somebody on the cover. Let's look at I kind of like this one. So with Canva, it doesn't really matter what subject material you're searching for when you're finding a layout. You just want to come up with something that works for you. So I'm just going to rename this the Essential Website. So their title, imitation is a good <laughs> form of flattery. I'm just going to call this the Essential road map I'm going to put tech tips for real estate investors and I'm just making up something but you can copy this control A is my shortcut to copy all and then control C is my shortcut on my PC to copy and then control V is paste and it's way huge so I like to change the size rather than really play with the font at first so let's go to 96 let's go to 88 80 64 56 okay so this I'm not sure if I really like this font so I'm going to search for when I like and have used before so that one I think is good let's we can delete this image and just add a new one and let's just go to unsplash which is where I get a lot of my my stock photos and I'm just going to search for real estate investors And let's see if we can find a person. Usually somebody who's smiling is, is good. I kind of like this one. So I'm just going to download this and I'm going to open it up and let's Let's just rename it. Okay, so we're renaming it. We're going right back here. Let's delete out this one. And so when you see this, that's kind of a place where Canva is suggesting you put an image. If you delete it entirely, this sized box for the image will go away. So let's go to the upload. We'll upload that file and I like to just drag it right to that box and usually it resizes it pretty nicely so sometimes it'll do it sometimes it doesn't and for the sake of time I'm gonna delete let's see can't always tell Oh, so you can see I dragged a little bit too fast. Okay, there it is. So let's put my website and let's just make this a little bigger and you can make the size of the box bigger. Sometimes I'll just pull it all the way to the corners so that it will be centered. And with contrast, I like to have light over dark. So, and maybe I want to have the same 
let's make sure we highlight all that text and make sure I've got the same font. There it is. And maybe I want medium. Okay, so here we have the image that we would put on our freebie. I'm going to just download this as a PNG. This size is fine. You can modify the size if you have a premium account. So let's download this image. And then you can go back to this magazine layout in Canva and you can create a landing page. So maybe you have a roadmap in Canva you could search for and you could create that next. Maybe I'll go to WordPress and go in Divi and start creating a, a, an opt-in page where I can insert this image. So this kind of gives you an idea of why you'd want to have more than one freebie and the elements that you'd want to have in that freebie and how to create it in Canva. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And don't forget to download this freebie. So for a limited time, you can get this and study it for inspiration. Have a great day.